Who do you guys find to be like the dreamiest Hollywood actor? Like who would you love to work oh, with? Oh, actor. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I really, really like Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm just saying, I'll be legal soon. So. <laughs> <laughs> Leo. And my whole thing was, I'm like, yeah, you guys like him from Titanic. I loved him from, was it Growing Pains? And I remember his channel surfing with him, I was like, who's that? So, long, long crush on Leo. It was Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, man. No, you can't be Leonardo Who DiCaprio. Who is Jack from Titanic? I had seen that movie so many times, and I had a framed photo of him in my room when I was a kid that was signed by him. And then I just, it was just like walking up there and just like getting to be near him was really exciting. So it sounds like everything other than the thing itself was the best part. <laughs> <laughs> like who your first crush was uh... when I saw Romeo and Juliet it what it's what threw everything out the window and then I became obsessed with Leonardo DiCaprio I had this necklace I went to this very religious Catholic school and, and the necklace just said Leonardo DiCaprio and I would wear it and there were like Leonardo DiCappuccino makers there was like a lot of stuff going on in it When me and Kevin met and stuff, he told me to make this list of Kevin those. Hart. Yep. Kevin Hart, yes. He told me to make a list. So Leonardo was on that list, okay? Oh. So, um, and that was the, it was to get pregnant by him. So when I met him. <laughs> <laughs> walked up to him and I was like, hi, Leonardo. My name is Tiffany Haddish and I think that you are such a talented person. He's like, thank you. I think you have, you're really funny. I saw you with Chris Rock and all that. I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you. So I just want to tell you something. He's like, what? I was like, uh, I want to hit. He's like, what? <laughs> I couldn't believe it happened the first time that I went to work with Leo again. It was kind of, yeah, ridiculous and um, obviously a totally different dynamic in this film. We have far fewer moments together. Yeah, you are kind of... Start off by saying, you know, in Wolf of Wall Street, seeing Margot come in and, you know, read that scene with me, I just knew I was uh, witnessing a dynamic presence in, in cinema that was about to be.